I'm not sure what I'm going to name this video because I'm going to continue to talk about illness, death, and dying and how it relates to you. And I want us to get this into a perspective so that you understand the magnitude of the experience of being a human, what's happening with all of that, and how you, the true you, has total power over all of it and what that actually is. Now, I had some videos, and I don't think some of you actually watched the whole thing, because if you did, you'd understand you are all powerful, and we're getting hung up on some things going on here on the planet. And I want to tell you how that works with the illnesses, the things that are happening in other countries. I want you to understand the shift within it, and how all of us can transform out of this. Yes, we can do that. Let's talk about that right now. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you to break through fear it's your spiritual butt kick at, because you can live an amazing life and you're thinking, how can I? These things are going on out there. And that very thought is what controls your reality, your individual uh, energy field, which then contributes into the collective. So the more people that believe that what's going on out there is how things are, are not understanding that they are so much greater than that and that these things are all individual journeys, purposeful, and we have chosen to participate in all of them. And there is no one thing, including illness or wars or anything else, that cannot be changed, risen above, completely shifted out of. But we look at things and say, that's who and what we are, and it is not. Now, here is the great awakening. I call it the great deprogramming. Is when you look at how you've been thinking. How have I been thinking about this? Why are people dying? Why are people getting sick? Why are people tired? And in every single case, it was no different than anything we've experienced since this planet began. Here's the difference. We are going to talk about what is going on that's different now. When we choose as individuals to raise our frequency, we now shift into a different, completely different matrix experience. We are all in an arcade, all right? Let's say just one arcade. There's endless arcades. The arcade has endless games in it. So we're in our universe, and we have endless games, and I'm playing Pac-Man, and you could be playing Donkey Kong, all right? That's all it is. So every time I play my Pac-Man, I get to know it better and better, and eventually I can get myself up to the top. Ding, 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 ding. Yahoo! Winner! But I keep playing, even though I keep getting eaten up by Pac-Man. I keep playing, right? You keep playing. We keep dissolving, coming back. It's just a transformational experience, but we are when we're in our densest beings forms, thought patterns, I should say, beliefs, when you're in your lowest belief form, it's your choice, not mine. I don't, nobody makes you think or believe anything. Guess stop blaming anybody, right? Because that's the deprogramming, is that I don't have to believe that anymore. When you go out of that thinking, you change absolutely everything, including how you see what's going on out there, and you realize, Oh, I'm in an arcade playing Pac-Man. I'm not actually the Pac-Man. So you stop freaking out every time you get... <laughs> and you meet Miss Pac-Man and whatever else happens. And, and it becomes more interesting. You see it completely different. And you realize, wait a minute, I'm choosing to play this. And I'm choosing to continually play it because I like winning. I like to master this game. And then I'll go on to Donkey Kong or whatever else. Yeah, some of you probably don't even know what that is. You're too young, right? All right, sip of coffee, and then we're going to go into this because this is the most important part. 
And I want you to question this. I want you to question everything. Deprogramming means question everything. Question me. Question Eckhart Tolle. If it's fear-based, it is of a lower frequency. That's it. But they said, I don't care what they said. I don't care what the words are. If the words are of a lower frequency, they are meant to connect with you, those on that frequency, and gather that information. Gather, you know, those low frequency dwellers. That is not good nor bad. We keep naming the they're there, they're there in the government. Yeah, and we have all contributed toward that. Now, I want to talk about this whole thing. We talk about health and, our, you know, we went through our, um, our whole shutdown and all that other stuff. That was intentional. We created it. We act like, oh, it just happened. We live in a world that poops in its own nest. Eventually, these things are going to happen, right? Okay? No matter what the reason is irrelevant. It's the fact that we continually hand our power over to the other lower frequency choices. It is not their fault. They are not wrong. We are not separate from them. And when we raise our frequency, we go into what? We go into awakening. What's awakening? It's consciousness. So if you go into consciousness, this is when your frequency goes up. Things work as a community, including everything in your body. So in other words, your whole body starts to communicate and work together because it's, it is part of, it is the very essence of your energy field. You go raise your frequency, you affect others. Now, when you guys tell me, oh, well, you know, if I'm in an area where there's low frequencies or whatever, yes, walk away from it. I mean, you're still a human being. I want you to understand the human part of you still is exposed to physical density out there. But we're not here to condemn it. It is you. That is you out there. We are one energy field. I know it's tough because we. Uh, this is the one part that the comments I hear still are not comprehending. That that is not a separate being that's doing something wrong to, to you or ever. It's a choice within the choices we all have. You don't have to be tired. You don't have to get sick unless you want to experience it. And some people want to experience that. And some people choose to transition because they know it's going to contribute to certain things here. They're ready to go. It's sometimes uh, uh, the friend who said that um, a foreigner came here to the United States. She didn't have health insurance. She was treated very badly and she died. All right, so, and she was treated very badly. So she died, and so now you're talking about it, and now I'm talking about it. Sometimes people are examples for the improvement of the planet. All right, if I do this, and if we all leave, okay, we were going to leave anyways. Let's all leave at this certain time period during this, you know, health issue. And then what, what's that going to do? It's going to contribute to a big transformation of the planet because people will have to live differently. And Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll go then. That's it. And so we name good and bad. I want you to think about this. No one makes you do anything unless they hold you down. And even then, you as a physical being have the ability to supersede anything. Christ proved this, all right, over and over again. These things you shall do and more. It's just as easy, by the way, to create a castle as a button. What does that mean? There's nothing too great for you to manifest in your life. And everything's coming from your personal choice and beliefs. If you choose to go get whatever remedies, you know, recommendations here in the United States, it's insane. I mean, it's like, I don't, I'm, do you know any person that takes zero pills? Zero. I'm talking no aspirin, no allergy. Do you know anybody? I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people. I mean, zero. Okay. So the, it's a choice. Now, here's what I want to share with you. Within this choice, I want you to remember, you participate in the material world, and because we're one, all of it's going to affect you. Let's say you're tired or sick or depressed or any of this stuff. It doesn't mean you can just go, bing, I'm not going to choose that anymore. It is the experience of ra raising your frequency within it that is the joyous Pac-Man win. 
Can I pull out of this? Can I forgive? You know, can I heal? Can I, you know, whatever it is. It's not just, I'm going to fix all this by bing, bing, bing. bing. Oh, I, you know, poverty. Okay, now, boom, uh, win the lottery. No, it's how do I do this? How, what's the journey that I can demonstrate to others and myself to evolve to conquer this in this game, because that's what I came here for, to prove that no matter what your situation, you can go into a higher frequency every time. Every time, it's a choice. No one controls your thoughts and beliefs, no one. So if you're blaming somebody else, you're disempowering yourself and going into human existence versus the power of you, you, that animates this, that plays the game you got to recognize that you're the player, all right? So if you're feeling any of these things or you're blaming people, people chose to put things in their mouth or in their bodies. People chose it, all right? And you can say, well, no, somebody made them do it. It's still a relationship going on there that was not an accident, all right? Anything is possible. So if people are choosing, making these choices and you're blaming the ones that are giving this stuff, to them, then we are not taking responsibility and saying, okay, I don't know what somebody's journey is, but I know that my choice and the choice that I make to show people that there's another way is what's going to raise the frequency, and that's all you have to do. All right? Get out of the bed and go for it. I'm tired. I haven't been able to. Yes, you have been able to. You chose not to. Oh, you know what this is today. <gasps> Yeah, your spiritual butt kick. Did you buy the book? People are saying it's just blowing their mind. And I'm like, yes, I didn't hold back on the book. I went into these spaces that are really out there and it'll help you to consider what is possible. And somebody said they felt there was an energy in the book. I actually say in my videos, there is an there's energy in words and what was put into this. There's an energy in this book. Everything is an energy field. So if you watch a video that's negative, that's an energy field. You're affected by absolutely everything, and it's a choice. It's your choice. Oh, well, no. Nobody made you sit and watch that. Nobody makes you turn the news on. You don't have to be informed because what is, what is it you're being informed of? BS? Yeah, mostly that. Now, I told you guys I had a download I've had a few downloads. I'm actually going to do an energy master class. That was a huge one on how energy actually works and how much more massive it is. We can't imagine it. We, we compartmentalize things here, and this is what I want to share with you today. We compartmentalize our abilities and our effect on everything, and there's no such thing as compartmentalization or individualism or separatism. It's made up. So when we go into that, it's a choice of that illusion that's a lower frequency. Watch that. If you're blaming and still going, they are, and the ones, and that you are absolutely in the lower judgmental frequency. Catch yourself. I know it's not easy. You think of yourself as a human. Think of yourself as a powerful energy field that's making frequency choices. Quit naming the, the issue. Is this a higher frequency choice? Is there blame, judgment, separatism in there? Then it's not a high frequency choice. All right? So I did get a download. I, I will share it with you. I'm not going to say exactly the words. I actually sort of forgot all the words. That there will be an event. And let's just say um, there will be people leaving the planet again in, in some kind of an incident or something like that in one one incident. There will be something happening. Didn't give me details, but it was a definite, it was so crystal clear right in the middle of a lucid dream, and these words came that this is going to happen, and this is going to be the result of that. In other words, it's going to be one incident that's going to, let's just say, allow certain people to leave the planet, okay? Now, we're going to see more and more of this. How do we combat it? We can't go into fear. In fact, the more you shift out of fear, the higher frequency you take us all. And you say, it's, it's a game. 
it's a serious game and I mean it's real to us because we it the illusion is real but it's still not who and what we are every choice you make is what counts so we get caught up in the arguments there's no arguments there's nothing to argue about you make choices you are right I make choices I am right my beliefs are right yours are right we don't have to argue anything but the question is is what frequency are we coming in on that because if we're up here we're operating as a community with solutions nothing nothing that exists doesn't have a solution there's unlimited probability so there's a solution for everything everything you talk about or think is a problem there's a solution are you finding it or are you looking at the problem and saying it's wrong it's a problem it's not and it's it's an experience it's an experience chosen you can't know in fact it's probably testing you and I most of the time it's our test if somebody does this oh they're a problem no how am I going to react to that? It's my response that is number one. Your response is number one. So you can take any situation you have, any illness, any whatever. You can't possibly always know what the lesson is for you personally. If somebody gets sick and they die, they chose that. They were ready to exit at that time. Don't question it. You can't know it. It isn't wrong. It isn't wrong, okay? It's a choice. And so when you eliminate right and wrong, you know what? There's no judgment on the other side. The Bible says this all the time. You know? He without sin cast the first stone. In other words, we're all in it together. And you and I hold the power to change anything on this planet. I have a new business coming out, and I want to tell you about it right now. First of all, you'll see products come out over my videos now that are non-toxic, no plastic, and beautiful, clean products that I use. All right? I'm an affiliate of this company. It costs you nothing more if you buy those products. I want to help you make higher choices. This you can do for others. If you have a solution, if you have something beautiful that doesn't uh, eliminate or separate people or my group, then please share solutions with everybody equally, okay? You, then you become the change maker. I have a company called Digital Explorers. It's launching right now, and I have an email list. I'll, I'll give you an opportunity to sign up for it. You can create any business online, small, big, and it doesn't matter what skills you do or don't have. Everyone we, fought, we actually work with you to find exactly what you should be doing. We find that beautiful thing that is going to help you to earn money in a high frequency. No one is allowed on the whole platform if they do anything that harms people or plant, the planet or animals. All right? This is the choices you can make. This is how you change the world. So that, it's called Digital Explorers. How to create planet-friendly, spiritually conscious businesses is what we're doing. These are solutions. Are you ready to do that? So I also want to put this out there. If you made it to the end of this video, if you have anything to contribute, Marketplace will open up in a couple months on that site, and people can put their planet-friendly items or services in my Marketplace. So I'll have a whole Marketplace people can go into. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's say that you want... Um, uh, someone who can heal, or you want a product that uh, for your grandkids, a toy for your grandkids that doesn't pollute the planet, we will have places where you can look all these things up. It's going to start small, obviously. We're going to build it. Are you ready to make these changes? If we focus on this, imagine what we can do. We're going to raise the frequency of the planet, one light being at a time. Go read the book. Everything I, I'm putting everything I can out there to help you raise your frequency, but it's your choice, and I'm not going to judge that, all right? Like I said, question me. When you're ready to come over to the fact that I'm always going to tell you, you always have a choice, you have no limits, uh, don't question what happens, use it as an opportunity for teaching and opportunity to make a higher choice. What am I learning from this? Because it never ends. The learning never ends, even on the other side. We got a lot more coming up. I've got so much to teach you, and I'm so excited about that. All right.
These are free videos for the training online that I got. It's very different to mine. It's very thorough, unbelievable, step-by-step, -step, create an online business. Uh, you got all kinds of choices here. You have choices, and only you can make it. What are you choosing, my friend? Because you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. You and I, we're one. Yes. What choices are you making? Anything you want. Namaste.